Hey guys, this uh, is Coconut. Uh, I'm uh, all about yeah. the Benjamins, baby. And today I want to show you a quick video on what to do with the money oil or the prosperity blend I'm sending, the ancestor money, and I have a little mini witchy haul that I want to share with you because you guys are like me, you get excited over occult items. So the first thing I have to show you is my little stock of rose incense. Um, Akiva turned me on to this and he uses a very fancy brand, but I got the brand that was available at the Botanica and I love it, it smells amazing. I have some Ruta and I have some star anise or star anise, however you say it. This is for some money magic. I wanted some fresh Ruta, but they didn't have it, and I couldn't find it at any of the stores that were local. So I'm still on a hunt for some fresh Ruta, fresh basil. Um, this is lavender and orange oil, or waters, or colognes, and um, this is just a staple to have when you want to mix up different Florida waters. Speaking of Florida water, I have some here. I'm going to show you in a video how to place herbs in here to give it a little bit more fire and magic. Yellow candle is a staple for me when I'm doing money work. So if I go to the Botanica, I always pick up one for myself. Rose of Jericho. I have an order to fill for a gentleman, so I like to always include this in there. Um, sometimes you have to show, you know, different ways to create prosperity, and the Rose of Jericho is a great way to supplant that information in your subconscious. I ordered these little face cards or place cards, Raphael and Michael. So this is going on my angel altar. And I have this wonderful little Michael vial. I have a Facebook friend that's working on creating a um, Michael picture for me. So I'm excited to see what she comes up with. I wanted to give Michael a little bit more color, if you know what I mean. And... My friend Bassette, she owns a company called the Cosmic Lotus. She sent me a few items, but today what I received in the mail was this Buddha head candle holder. And she sent me jewels. You cannot beat free, and you cannot beat free jewelry. <laughs> so thank you, honey. I appreciate that so much. I got this little cauldron because apparently I just need more ways to burn incense. My daughter, she bought me the cutest little thing for my altar. It's a, a um, rosary and she ordered it for me and it came in this cute little bag. You know, I'm a sucker for anything black and I ordered myself a pendulum from Etsy, which also came in a cute little bag. So this is the rosary. And this is going on my angel altar. So I really like that. Thanks, Rain. Stainless steel. I forgot the name of the stone, but it's right up where I like to be with the colors. I adore black. And this is my new pendulum. Isn't it pretty? going to do some readings in my group. By the way, my group is called on Facebook Witchery Mayhem and Spirits. We talk a whole lot about magic, the occult, and being petty. <laughs> All right, so if you're a real person, you wanna join, look me up on Facebook. I also got this cute pentacle. That is going to sit on my Baneful Magic Altar. Got more incense for clients. I have a new way to read cards. These are wonderful. Can't wait to open and review them. And they look like they just say finance. So this is going to be my new finance deck. Hope you can see that without the glare. And I had to get this from the Botanica. Um, no, this came from the witch shop, the Halloween Oracle. 
So I'm going to debut this in my group for Halloween. We're gonna have fun and some giveaways. So I can't wait to do that. And I picked up some black candles because, you know, you never know when well, you might have to put a hex on the whole family. <laughs> I'm being so corny tonight. So that is, I think, the extent of my witchy haul. And next, I'm going to show you quickly how to use the Ancestor Money and the Prosperity Oil. So join me. Thank you for joining me. So if you purchase this Prosperity Oil from me this week only, you do receive a few pieces of the Ancestor Money. So when you receive your oil, you want to make sure you consecrate it. You hold it in your hand, you bless it, you pray over it, you smudge it, you set the intent. Whatever deities and guides or gods you use, you want to call on them. And you're going to, by that virtue, infuse the power of your ashe into the magical oil I have created. I do the oil by planetary alignment, hours, and the deities that run abundance and benevolence. So it already comes to you packed with my ashe, and now I need you to activate yours, and then you would use this on your money. You could anoint the corners. You can anoint your hands, your chair if you're a hairdresser. If you um, have applications, you would place a, just a little bit on the application. If you're going for an interview, you can rub some on your hand, not too much, you don't need much. Rub it on your hand as you're interviewing so when you shake hands with them, you're giving them that psychic impression to give you the position. Now the ancestor money comes from the concept that when the dead were going to the afterlife, they needed to be comfortable. So they used to be buried with all of their possessions, like their gold and their copper and their silver and their brass, the jewelry. And then at some point, the descendants were like, look, we could use this stuff. So they started to create instead paper replications of the uh, material possessions. So this is big in the Asian world and it has now crossed over into American folk magic and we're all getting hip to burning ancestor money as a way to pave the way for the ancestors or the deities that you use. The idea is that you are just honoring them and paying homage to them by burning this money. So again, you would say your prayers, you would um, light it on your altar. Um, do this as often as you can, once a week if that's what you have. You can fold it or you can leave it loose. It burns very quickly because I have a small pot. I'm just going to fold mine. And again, this is symbolic. It is just to train your subconscious to tap into the spirit world and beyond. So this is to my ancestors, known and unknown, that love me and take care of me and guide me, protect me, and provide. Thank you so much for watching. Om Shreem Rizzi.